Hey, Sakura. What's up? What you doing there, you little goober? Huh? What's that? Huh? What's that you say? Oh, y'all guys should totally, she said y'all should totally subscribe to the channel and hit that like button and maybe leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the video. You know, that's a good, that's a good little bit of advice you got there, Sakura. It's a good little bit of advice. Look at her. Look how sad she is. She wants more people to subscribe. So go ahead down there. Go down to the little subscribe button. Smash it. Hit the like button while you're down there. And give this dog, put, just put a smile on her face. Just put a smile on her diggity dang face. Alright guys, welcome back to Anime Waifu Simulator. Uh, Favorite game of all time. Apparently, I guess I'm okay at this game, according to Benjamin. He's mastered the combos, I'm very proud of him. He's practically yelling at me, I'm like, I'm already doing it, man. So we're gonna we're gonna do some blades, man. We're gonna get some blades, we're gonna pop a common core crystal. Actually, should I release some so I can get some uh, amplifiers, whatever they're called? No, you don't need those yet. Psh, psh. Yes, view awakening. Come on, Morag, you need yourself a rare blade. This once is, you, once you this is gonna be the rare. This is gonna be rare, super yeah. rare. Well, we. I mean, this better be Telos or Cosmos, <laughs> one or the other. It could be Telos. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? I don't know. It looked like a common to me. Cool. Doggy. I, I hate this one. <laughs> I hate you. You'll eventually I hate, you. hate all the comments. I hate you. <laughs> I already hate all the comments. <laughs> I'm assuming, I'm like, I want a cool looking one. I don't want like a generic looking one. If there's a modder out there who can just mod this game to get rid of all common core crystals, except for the ones you need. Or there's like bigger variety in commons, then that would be cool, but there's not. Looks like he's wearing there's a weird six crown. different ones, man. No, you don't need to set that blade. But he's lightning. Is he a tank? I don't remember. Yeah, he's not a tank. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, you need to uh -oh. go. Uh-oh. What did I say before, Ben? Well, you just released the one you just made. But he has two stars. Oh, then don't release that one. You need to release one for more lag. Let's see. Yeah, Look at that. Dark Salvaging mask. Mastery. Yeah, you need to keep him. Get rid of this one. Yeah. No, that's Rex's. You have to get rid of one of more rags. I do? Yeah. Okay. There you go. Oops. Bye. You only need to get rid of one. You shouldn't get to do more than that. Well, I want to get rid of one more. But you don't have enough core crystals to replace them, and you need them for Merc missions. What are you talking about? I need Earth Mastery for Merc mission? You might. There's Merc <sighs> missions that have Fine. Earth. Fine. I'm a compassionate man. Yeah, be compassionate. That's my advice. Yes, view awakening. You know, what you just did, that took me the entire, like, 300 hours to figure out. I was talking common. to my friend about this situation. Not common. Common. It's common. I was talking to my friend about the situation. I was saying, like, this game's kind of weird to me because it's, like, I'm in a position where, like, I know more than the common person, yet I don't play the game that much. Yeah. Something along those lines. Something where I was like, yeah, he's a big dude. Holy crap. Yeah. This is actually my favorite common. It's the big one. Why does he gotta be Texan? Because he's big. Oh, he's attack. Texans are big. Just like me. I'm big. Cause I'm just gonna set this blade. Whatever. No, it's an attack blade. You have a tank. So? You need to do all tanks if you can. I guess you could do that. I don't have fine. another tank. <laughs> yeah. Um, go ahead and do that. Boom, where is he? Right here? Uh, you want wind, though? Fine, Ben. If you want to do anything, I would do um, fire. Whatever. Well, you actually already have fire. Wind is fine. All right, Ben. Whatever. 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 It doesn't really matter. It's just mixing as kind of. I want to go to the story now. Let's that's do the story. Advanced techniques is mixing them. Where do I go? Evening is upon so you want to go to the story? You should uh, skip travel to um, that other place. Endoline Praetorium. We gotta watch a super long cutscene. Which one? No, not there. Not yeah, right there. I'm glad that you have finally learned the chain attack secrets. You gotta, you know, what you did was like mainly late game stuff. You're doing now. 
That's what I was explaining to my friend. I was trying to say something along the lines of like, I barely played this game like a light. Most people spend tens, twenty, like hundred hours and still don't understand the battle system. And it's like I literally understand it way more than most people do. Even people that have beat this game probably twice know less about the battle system than you, you, like I do right now. Now, but oh yeah, I remember saying I was saying like it's weird for me because it's like my muscle memory is not there yet to just do the combos without thinking about it. I have to think about it. But it's just how to, how to put this. I know a lot about the battle system, but as far as actually executing what I know, I have problems. Yeah, which I, is kind of I, funny. I, I I totally get it. Yeah. That's why I was trying to help you out, is because I was like. Yeah, that's that's what I was trying to say. Is like I I know a lot more about the battle system than a lot of people in my position would. But the pra problem of the matter is that I'm not as practiced as I should be for as much as I know. Well, I mean, that's oh hey, you can get the T for a uh, uh, fire right there. You need to do it four times. So if she, they got Genasi T, get four of them. Four of them. Yeah. Oh, they don't. You can go to Moro Dane. They have it. Well, let's, go to Mo, let's go to Moro Dane. I'm telling you right now, if you're playing this game, you need to be filling out your affinity charts if you can. If you, if anybody's playing this game and wondering how to play it, fill out your affinity charts. Seriously, if you get to the, a lot of people get to the end of this game and they don't have it filled out and they have to do a whole bunch of stuff before they can beat the final boss because they don't have their affinity. You have to have max affinity to beat the final boss? Or just no, it just helps a lot. You can do it with zero affinity if you're smart and good and timed correctly. Okay, where is the drink shop? Um, it's somewhere around here. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, and also her favorite cabbage is there too, so you might want to grab that. I'm pretty sure. It's salad something. Crispy vegetable salad. I'm pretty sure that's it. You get like four of them. Look at your money, by the way. Eh, I'm kind of poor. <laughs> you already have more than what you earned from the start of the game. Let's see. What would have been different about that scene when I went back home if I didn't send home that money? Um, Just a little bit different dialogue. I don't know if you it. can go anywhere without doing that. I think it's required. I think it's like forces you to do that. I don't know where the drink is. Ooh, I want to talk to this guy. No, don't do it. It's not worth it. This guy? Don't talk to him. Talk to him? No. Talk to him? No. Well, hey, you know what we should do? We should look up all the side quest blades and do some of those. So you can have some more tank blades. Well, why don't you do that? You got an iPad right there. That's a good point. I'm a little preoccupied playing a game. Being freaking awesome at this game. Hmm. You are pretty good, actually. Woo! Gosh, I'm so proud that you did that. I think the only thing that I, like, I'm really, like... So, like I said, obviously my muscle memory is not there at the moment to like just do stuff without thinking. I have to really think about it. But on top mm. of that, it's like knowing which combos to use is another thing I'm struggling with. Like I understand how to do them, I understand how to set them up, but just knowing which path I should be taking is the problem. Yeah. Um, and I'm here to help you through that because I played it a couple times. Can we do? Can you do some uh, salvaging? Yeah, I can do some salvaging if you want me to. Um, the best one right now is going to be in, uh, in the line. So you can get a bunch of those. How many should I buy this? You shouldn't buy, you shouldn't spend all your money on that. How many of these? I mean, you could do like maybe five. And then do silvers a lot. You can do like, you know, ten of those. Like, what, two of these? Mm, do like three. There you go, that's pretty good. Look at me, look at Pyra. Did you like how Pyra like is just not good at being incognito? Even when she's like wearing that like cloak, she's still doing like fire stuff. So question, do you think it was killing Sky Bennett knowing that Pyra and Mithra were gonna be in Smash and she couldn't talk about it for like a long time? But she said that, I watched I her. <clears throat> she's like I've been sitting on this thing for months. It must be weird, like, voice acting for, like, video games and movies and stuff like that, because, like, you literally do all this voice acting, and then you have to wait, like, a year or two for the game to come out, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's got to feel, like, really are you, surreal. Are you on Chapter 5? Yeah. 
So what? it's not after chapter five. It's on. You're on it. I'm pretty sure I'm on chapter five. All right, go to Toragoth real quick. Uh, chapter five. Yep. Yeah. So, Toragoth. Oh, you're talking about the spot so we can do our thing. Yeah. Again. Where's Torgoth? Torgoth is. Come on. Uh, it's in Gormont. Okay. I'm I said come on because I couldn't remember it. That's for me. Cool. Phew. That was a slog. Let us go. You're a slog. All right, so man. we can get the bathtub girl. Right now? Yes. We'd have a lot of money. How much? 500k. Uh, so go back. Go to the rumor person. gonna be in the, the city. I know. They said after chapter five, but I wonder if that's after cha chapter five begins or after chapter five is over. Because after chapter five begins, to watch a huge cutscene to do that. But we should earn Sheba first. I didn't. I didn't know that she was a blade you just buy. Or essentially. Uh, I buy. forgot about it. A girl in the bathtub that has a harem <laughs> or wants to make a harem. Um, Is this who you're talking about? Yeah. Types of court crystal. So you have to pay him money for him to tell you how to play the game. <laughs> this? I think it's Greedy Monster, if I'm not mistaken. I'm trusting you, Ben. But yeah, let me just say real quick. Go right to the main story. And why did she get a bathtub? Do you have the powered up poppy? I don't know. No, that's not. That shouldn't be right there yet. Bye. Greedy monster. Yes. Monster that a famed driver has been seen in. Oh. 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 Do you think I can kill it? Where did it say? In Shen Sag Wastes. Where's that? Okay, that's. Ooh, purchase the greedy monster report from an informant. Go near the Chagasaw Waste, Salish Point, and Empire Mordain, just above Anagaheim number two dock. Keep challenging until the gluttonous Maran monster appears, defeat it, and obtain her lucky So, Alva Kavanich? Um, that's correct. Uh, Chagahaw Wastes. No, okay, actually, okay. you don't go to Alba Cavanich. No. It's number two, Doc. I think it's on the lower level. It's called what? Lower level. You right there? Which one? Number two, Doc. Oh, okay. Sorry, man. She is great. Wait, so the bathtub girl's a tank? No, this is Cassandra. She's a dark tank. Oh. Bro, she's great. She's Wait, awesome. Cassandra's... In, when Cassandra, like, one of the A-list tiers? Oh, yeah. She's good. Okay, so we'll go and save real quick. So you got to salvage, and I think I can do this. Yeah, you got them Adderall reactions. I'm not saying I don't have on, any Adderall. No, no, I'm not saying you're on Adderall. I'm saying, like, you have those, like, reactions... Inherited. From Torgoth, located in Gormont Province. Cool. So you can actually go purchase one too, but you need money. Ooh, can I open this? Check. Treasure acquired. Open up. Opening protocol engaged. Take off. There is three. Oh my protocol. God. You're fantastic. We tried, we tried to open this before and we couldn't do it. Well, Ooh. now you can because you're a boss. Okay. So I need to go over here. Um, oh, sorry. It's the Chaga Chasagata Wastes. This? No. See that other one? Over here? Yeah. Uh, Is that door open? 
need to go on the other side. How do I get there? Do you remember how we got there? Nope. I can get you there if you want me to. Well, maybe I do want you to. Okay. Maybe I do, indeed. All right. This is going to be janky. I'm going to get Newt. Whatever her name is. You can only get her randomly. What kind of... She's Sandra a healer? Good. What? She's a healer? Um... Newt is a tank. Tank? So she'd be good for a freaking... What's oh, her yeah. Name? She'd be great. She's fire, though. So I thought she was redundant. Earth. No, she's fire. Interesting. You would not know that by looking at her, would you? I think I'm in the right place. No, it's the wrong one. Cool. How do you open up that gate? Um, you have to do it from the other side. Why didn't we do we that last we time? We never did it. I don't know why. Old factory warehouse. Okay. Have to be very careful. Is he going to try to kill you? Well, they might. I don't know. I think I'm too high level for them, though. There's a level 80 over here. Remember that time when we bumped into level 80? And then you jumped down and bumped into two level ladies. And you ran outside and bumped into another level lady. Good times. Remember that? Yeah. I survived somehow, didn't I? Mm-hmm. I'm just checking my controls real quick. I don't even think I've uploaded the episode yet. I think this next one we have to upload. If they seek a fight, they shall get one. Where am I? Shut up, Gramps. Yes, please shut up. Yep, there it is. Is he trying to kill you? He might. Frick. Go somewhere else, why don't you? I'm all no. Juice. Wow, just standing there? Thanks. It's oh my gosh, yet? that's annoying. Oh, I feel like that was my fault. Oh wait, we have to do the, is this a side quest? No. We have to go to, I'm big dumb. To go to, where is it? Item list. Chagansaw Waste. I remember this being aggravating to get. But you can get her. And you can get Sheba too. And that's the bathtub girl? Mm hmm. Bathtub girl. Get over my chips. Hi. She seems to like you. I mean, yeah, of course. Who doesn't? <laughs> Joking. Uh, Chase. Just by the way. Let go. He was let go. He was fired? Yep. Oh my gosh. So they said, oh, no, 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 no! What's she doing? She's trying to drink your coffee. You sure you drank it? Yeah, she's trying to drink it. You can't drink that dog. Did she already put her tongue in it? No. Okay. Why? I was just making sure. <laughs> oh she was my sniffing. gosh. She was sniffing it. She was about to go there and drink it. You scared me. I'm gonna get died. I'm gonna get died. I'm gonna get died. I'm gonna get died. Just run. Stop being a baby. And open that gate. Oh, there it is. It's right there. Yeah, it's nice. Open it. And it's like level 80 something just gets in front of the gate. I don't know how hard this boss is. Let's see if it is uh, openable from here. Oh, you're going back to your cage, doggy. Yeah. It is locked. Wow. Okay, thank you. We have to figure out which side quest we gotta do for that. I know there's a side quest you have to do. But yeah, they put a bunch of 880 level. This is it right here, I think. 
Yeah, here we go. Alright, so here's what you're going to do. You should save? Yeah. I think it auto-saves. Okay. So now I'm just going to go through my salvage points. Normal cylinders until we get this uh, monster. Sweet. What if all you have to do is just do one perfect and you get the monster? Probably. I think I already got the monster. Well, look at that. No, I did not. And no monsters. Treasure Chove. Cool, cool. It's, it sounded like we got the monster because it switched to daytime and they went to the better song. Yeah. Oh, I see. Adderall. I see that why this is the easiest one. It's all A's. A's. <laughs> all A's, baby. All A's, all days. I love the smell of salvage. Well, the good news is you have nine minutes to find this monster. Let's we'll see if we do it. Before we end the episode. All right, make bets right now. Leave a comment. Will we do it or will Treasure we not? Quiet. And don't skip ahead. That's cheating. Yeah, che cheating is cheating. I don't know what the, what the point of that was. Silence is violence, Benjamin. Silence is violence. Wait, who coined that? I don't know. Some idiot. Probably a French philosopher of some kind. This looks like it'll be something good. Well, look at that. Look at that. No core crystals. Why are there it's no monsters? It's, it's all normal. That's why. You're all mine. Why are there no monsters? Why are there no monsters? Yeah. I don't know. It's a weird part. Oh, can't wait. This is somewhat all random. Right. Here we go. How long does he salvage for? Cause he sw it switches from day to night so quick. Must yeah. be like all day down there. That must be boring for his party members. Just think what they have to do. He's down there salvaging. They just have to wait for him. You know, I didn't really think about the logistics of this game Time until you mentioned it. Hunting. Yeah. And now I'm like, that's pretty weird. Well, dude, that's just inconsiderate of him. It's long stretches of time where he's salvaging. Ooh, look at that. I don't think I did this mission until I was level like 86 or something. What's well, probably one of the most embarrassing things that's happened in your life? Are you sure you want me to share that? So I can tell you about a time I did something kind of embarrassing, but I, but I owned it. What was it? So back when I was in Japan, me and my wife, at the time my girlfriend, went to go meet... Uh, one of her friends and my friend was coming to meet her friend as well so it was going to be like a little I double date thing and it was a girl from Taiwan actually I believe she's, I believe she was Taiwanese mm -hmm. but um, anyways so she seemed really excited to meet him and then it was like the moment that she realized he was black like her attitude completely changed and so basically we went we got some like uh, ramen you know and then my friend was like yeah I'm going to leave because like you just tell that she was like the moment she saw he was black, she just, I guess she was like, was into black guys or she like just didn't like black people. But anyways, so like, he leaves and then me and my wife are leaving. And, you know, we're like, okay, bye to her friend. I was like telling her, because her friend was like really, really boring. I was like walking. I was like, man, your friend was like super boring, like extremely boring. It's like she could have at least tried to be nice to my friend, even if she didn't want to do anything. Because it was just like meeting. It wasn't like a date. I know I said double date, but it was just meeting and hanging out. But she was like extremely rude to him. And like, so like, I was basically calling her out about that. And I went, I was going off talking about it. And next thing I know, all of a sudden her friend comes speed walking past us and gets in front of us and just keeps walking. And then my wife's like, oh my God, it's her right there. It's like, I don't care. She fucking sucks. That's not embarrassing at all. Well, no, it was just kind of like one of those situations where it's like, you're talking about somebody and you're not expecting them to hear you. But then my wife's like, oh my God, she heard everything you said. I was like, I don't care. I mean, like she's being openly racist. Yeah. So, I mean, she deserves it. Yeah, I don't really have anything against Taiwanese people. But it's just a lot of the people in Japan that I met from Taiwan, very rude. Just very rude, the ones I met in Japan. 
Maybe it's just a cultural difference. I don't know. When I met when I met people from Taiwan, like when I was like in Hong Kong, so yeah, they were super nice. There's something about the ones in Japan that I meet. They just I don't know. They just seem really rude. I'm back, Miss Meg. Who knows? Actually, I was supposed to go meet a Taiwanese girl one time at this place called Kamakura, which was where the first uh, shogun, I guess, resided or whatever. Anyways, so we. She chose a place that she wanted to go there and go to this, like, uh, a place called Hase, something like that, but it has, like, a big Buddha statue. I was supposed to go there and meet her. She was one hour late to meeting me, and this is, like, in the middle of summer, and it's, like, really muggy outside in summertime in Japan. And I remember I got there, and I waited for, like, an hour. I was actually pretty pretty patient about the situation. Eventually, she showed up, and then we were going to get some food. And she's like, what do you want to eat? And I was like, I don't know. I kind of feel like eating some ramen or something like that. Cause you know, and she's like, she got super mad at me. It's like, you know, I don't like noodles. I'm like, this is the second time I've ever met you. I don't remember that. It's like we can eat something else. And so like, she's like, okay, well, what do you want? I was like, I don't know. I just maybe get some like curry or get something. Like I was just making suggestions, and she kept getting more and more and more mad at me. And eventually, guess where we ate? Where? And it was her suggestion. Where? McDonald's. <laughs> we went to McDonald's, and while we were there. Uh, I was basically just making small talk. I was like, man, it's really hot out today. It was like super duper, I'm like, it was super duper sweaty. I was like, yeah, I'm super duper hot. And she uh -oh, got- Oh, I think it's here. Yeah. <gasps> Did you see it? No. But anyways. What? But anyways, like, um, so like I mentioned something about the weather and she got like really, really butthurt and angry. Cause I was just like, man, it's really hot today, isn't it? And then she got like really, really angry looking and she like wouldn't look me in the face anymore. And then she told me that I apparently pissed her off with my small talk. Like my small talk made her really freaking angry. And she was an hour late. Yeah, she was an hour late. So I wasn't in the best mood either, but I was being pretty nice to her. But um, yeah, she got mad at me and I was like, I feel that she knew she messed up. So she was trying to project something on me because she went up to the fact that, you know, what she did was kind of a shitty thing. I mean, but anyways, one oh, oh here it is. There it is. Yeah. But that's that's one thing that I've kind of realized from that little meeting that girl was uh, if I ever feel that feeling ever again, I will 100% know that I'm going to get up and leave. Because just just the, the just the sinking feeling in my stomach, just the whole situation go down. Because I didn't know she was mad. She just stopped talking. So I was like, uh. But anyways, yeah, that's a random story that I just told. I'll probably retell it again better at a later time. So I'm kind of my mind's kind of jumbled. This happened like five years ago. Yeah, but no, it was like five, six years ago that that happened. Dang. But it's just like, how are you an hour late and you try to turn stuff on me? Especially when I'm just making out of chit chat. And the first time I met her, something similar did happen, but she was a lot cooler about it. It's like, I didn't know her, so I'm trying to make small chit chat to figure out, like, get to know her. And she got, like, mad. It's like, why do I care about, like, I think I was talking about, like, you know, uh, actually, I think I was talking about the weather. She's like, why do I care? Anyways, that was my first experience with a Taiwanese girl, and she was extremely rude. That sucks. Yeah. But whenever I met Taiwanese people in Hong Kong, like when I was in Hong Kong, they were super nice. But every time I meet a Taiwanese person in Japan, they would be really rude to me. Of course, I only really ever met the, the, the girls in, uh, in Japan, so maybe it's just a Taiwanese girl thing. Oh, you killed it. Yeah. Sweet. So we should get the crystal now. It's gonna it's doing a cutscene. Sweet. Who's this gonna be? Cassandra. Which one's Cassandra? Cassandra is the She's got a hammer. Lucky core crystal. And she's gonna go to Morag. Cool. So anyways, the gist of the story is men of Taiwanese girl online, went hung out with her one time. Had it no, had, like at first it started out kind of rocky, but eventually we had a really, really good time. It was supposed to be a second time. She was an hour late, and she got mad at me because I forgot that she didn't like noodles. I forgot that she didn't like curry. I forgot that she just didn't like food, I guess. Unless it's like fast food. So we went to McDonald's, and that was the most awkward lunch I've ever had in my entire life. And well, she got she got mad at me for making chit chat. Good grief. Yeah. Blades. Fun. Yeah, that was probably like the most uncomfortable experience I've ever had in my life. After like, 30 person... minutes, I leave. Oh, sweet. It's just ready to go. Oh, my goodness. You ready to see this uh, awakening of an S-tier blade? Oh, my God. Now, skip it, man. What are you doing? No. No. 
We're good. She good. So you're making better decisions because I know what happens in this game than I did. My decisions are horrible in the, the last game. Well, look at that. Isn't she bootyful? Cassandra here. Who's Cassandra with a K? There's lots of focus on her feet for some reason. Watch the back of her head, by the way. I like the Blade Awakening music, like when you get a rare blade. It's pretty nice. It's like epic. She's a fox demon. I will work day and night to ensure our happiness. Thank you, Cassandra. Interesting. She's really weak right now, though. You just gotta give her a, cri I a crystal. I wish I could share my luck with everyone. Ooh, look her at bad her. Luck. Look at her. She S tier? I'd say she's like A tier. I mean, it's fair. Alright. I like her design. It's pretty cool. Alright. Let's go here. What are we gonna do for Infinity? Infuse Trust. Easy peasy. Uh, but it's a modification. And so you couldn't get that monster, you could not get this play unless you paid for that information. So you could never just actually happen upon her? That's cr Well, I mean, she's a side quest blade, so you have to go pay for the information huh. and then do that. What's another side quest blade? Um, Sheba. Let's go to Korgoth and I'll show you her. Can I get it right now? Um, yeah, but we should do another video and show people that. So I can make a thumbnail for Cassandra and make a thumbnail for Sheba. Are you really going to do that? Can you do that today? I can't do it today, but I'll do it eventually. The faster you do it, the faster I'll upload the videos. <laughs> and the faster my hand will cramp over and die. Sweet. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye. Oh, hey, didn't see you there. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. By the way, Sakura here says that for every subscription that I get on this channel, she will not shed two hairs in my house. That's two hairs I don't have to pick up later. And she'll do one for every like. So if you haven't, go ahead and go down there and smash that freaking subscribe button. And you know while you're down there, just go ahead and slap that like button too. And we'll catch y'all guys in the next one. Ain't that right, Sakura?